And welcome back inside Nazro Hall at the campus of the, the lower campus, the middle school campus of um, St. Andrews Episcopal School here in Central Austin for the third game of our middle school basketball triple header tonight. My name is Kevin McAdams for Vibe Live. It's a pleasure to be with you again as the remaining fifth and sixth grade boys for St. Andrews take on the sixth grade team from uh, St. Stephen's, the, the Spartans. I've been watching the warm-ups here, and I'm seeing a lot of the same players that played in the earlier game for St. Stephen's on the court warming up, but also some new faces. So I'm not exactly sure who all is going to be in the game, the next game for them. So we'll just call their names when we get them. However, these are the players we're going to see for the um, for the uh, St. Andrews Highlanders tonight. In just a moment, I'll make an adjustment to the on-screen scoreboard here. There, there we go. All right. <clears throat> So these are the players we're going to see in the next game. Number 22, Beckett Curry from the class of 2027. From the class of 27 as well, number 35, Hudson Moorhead. These next two also from 27. 31, Austin Toland, and 21, Cole Willis. In fact, the, this entire team is going to be from the class of 2027, so that's awesome. Uh, also featuring number 33, Maz Amond. Number 44, Daniel Antonini number 35, Max Carson, and number 34, Ethan Kim. That will be the team for the third game tonight for the St. Andrews Highlanders. And looking to see, like I said, most of the team from the earlier game, most of the St. Stephen's team from the earlier game uh, is still suited up. But I am seeing a few different people as well. Number 13, Fat Lawson Fass is out there and yeah again i'm still not sure who all is going to be in this game so once they hit the court we'll uh we'll read off the starting five and we'll go from there so once again uh, at this grade level we play 18 minute halves college rules the pregame clock has expired and referees look like they're about ready to start the game so we'll have the opening tip off coming up here yeah it is indeed okay I see now it is indeed a mostly different group for the St. Stephen Spartans. Okay, so far on the court for St. Stephen's, I see number 17, Wyatt Levine, number 23, Chris Jesmail. Big player in the first game. Number zero, Kellen Buckholtz. Number five, Hugo Vera. And number 16, that's Julian Alvarez. In the tip-off circle for the Highlanders, number 43. And we'll get his name in just a moment. Just Mail gets the tip. Gets it down the court. And no points off the opening for them. Highlanders have the ball now. 35 drives up the middle. Can't take the shot. Gets called for traveling. 35 Hudson Moorhead. Okay, Levine to Buckholtz. Taking his time coming down the court toward us. smale has got the ball. Now over to five. Back to Levine. Working against 35 there. Julian Alvarez here in the corner. Couldn't keep control of it. But Red keeps the ball, so he'll bounce it in. Gets it over to number five. Out to Jasmail now. Buckholtz. Buckholtz will take the shot from the corner, and no good. We go out, and the Highlanders get the ball. Bringing it in, it's Maz Ahmad getting it to number 22. Beckett Curry. I remember him. I worked here, worked the uh, games here just about two weeks ago, and Beckett Curry was a really exciting young player to watch. 
The young man is all over the court, never afraid to take that three-point shot. <coughs> St. Stephen's inbounds, brings it up the court. Over to Buckholtz. Now to Jismail. Inside to Levine, surrounded by three defenders, so he's gonna have to bring it back out. Over there to Vera. You go Vera's number five. Now Buckholtz has got it at the top. They had a three second violation on the Spartans. Curry gets the inbound. And he'll bring it up the court, waiting for his guys to get set. Over there to the left, number 35 to 43 inside. He goes up against heavy opposition and puts two in the, two in the basket. Islanders take an early lead with 15-20 left to go in the first half. Vera to Buckholtz, looking for Levine in the middle. Levine can't hang on to it. Number 43 has it for the Highlanders. Over to 35, he drives in, puts it up, nothing. Buckholtz working against 43. Now Levine's got the ball, back to Buckholtz. 16, drives the paint up underneath. Nice, easy layup. And we are tied. Curry. Curry to Ahmad. Ahmad getting tangled up under the basket with Levine. Spartans working the ball back down the court now. Buckholtz. Working against Carson, Max Carson, number 35. Bear with me as I continue to match numbers to names. Buckholtz goes to Jismail. Working against number 43, he drives in, puts it up. And the Spartans take the lead, 4-2 with 14.06 left to go. Beckett coming up slowly, let the offense get set. Over to 43. Miles Hill is the name attached to number 43 on the roster. As Buckholtz gets the pass from just mail, puts in another two. 6-2 now. Curry. Oh, just mail with the steal. Here he comes. He's got a fast break. Can Curry catch him? No, he can't. Pass over to 16. Now the shot's blocked by. by 43 Miles Hill. So that name was actually originally scratched off my roster. So I'm guessing he may have been a last minute addition anyway. Inbound to 26 goes up. Levine gets the rebound. Turns around, gets tangled up with fifteen. So it looks like we've got a player or two from the earlier game in the game for the uh, for the Highlanders as well. Number 15, Jack Dial. He played in the second game tonight. Back on the court now for the Highlanders. Working against Levine underneath. Now back out to 21. Just mail with the steal. Nobody to oppose him as he drives in for an easy layup. And... Spartan leading out 8-2. Over to Dial on the left side. Out to 21. Stolen by Levine and the Spartans are on the move. Buckholtz. Has a hard time controlling the pass, but he does. Now back to Levine, air ball. Number 16 for the Spartans, tried to get the rebound, wound up stepping out. So 34 to 31. And I'm not sure if the numbers and names are matching up right now, so. Mail to 16. 
Kick out to 23. Levine with the rebound, gets it out just to just bail. Back to Levine. And the call goes against number 53, who I don't have on the roster. That's a different uh, player wearing 53 than did in the, er the earlier game. So you know what, I'm just gonna call numbers and uh, only make a, only, only call a name when I'm sure that's who it is. So 21 to 15, the left side and nice shot. Update the score real quick. Right now it is 10-4 in favor of the Spartans. Spartans coming down. Buckholtz to Levine underneath. 34 gets the rebound now. Out to 21. That's Cole Willis. And 34 is listed on this roster as Viren Hardy. Although his name was scratched off earlier, but I'm guessing he's able to play after all. And Buckholtz has got the ball now, coming down next to Levine. Levine has it in the paint, turns around, puts it up, and it's good. Number 15 gets it underneath the 53, turns around, puts up the shot. Off the backboard. <clears throat> New player in the game for the Spartans, number 11, Taj Kumar. Managed to save it from going out of bounds that time. And here come the Highlanders once again. 15, driving straight up the middle. Gets held up over to 53, out to 21. 21, of course, Cole Willis. Levine passes way up court, thinks he's got bulk Colts, but uh, right over his head. Eight and a half left to go here in the first half. Max Carson there, 35, he's got the ball on the right side. He drives in, puts it up, air ball. 44, that is Daniel Antonini. Bear with me, I'm starting to get this figured out. Ismail's got the ball, working against Carson. The two of them get tied up. Ball will go over to the Highlanders. Mazamad back in the game. It's going to get it out to Beckett Curry. Clock ticking under seven and a half as Curry takes his time heading up the court, getting set up. Out to Ahmad. Back to Curry, but almost, not almost blocked. Carson. Shot goes all the way over. Buckholtz comes down with it for the Spartans. Levine calling for the ball, but he gets it all the way. Oh, nice interception. 33 gets it to Beckett. Beckett Curry. Over to Carson. 43's got the ball. He drives in against three players. And did he travel or did he draw the foul? He traveled. Taj Kumar back in the game now, number 11. Inbounds it to Drew Bonner, number two, sixth grader for the Spartans. Over to Jasmail. Buckholtz down here in the near corner. Out to Jasmail once again.
Bonner's got it. Tries to get it inside to Buchholz. It's picked up by 43. Who drives into the paint and then gets it out to Carson on the right. Carson drives up on the basket, off the rim. Rebound comes out to Ahmad. Five fifty to play in the first half. And Kumar will inbound once again. So I actually have two players listed as 35. I have Hudson Moorhead and Max Carson. So I'm not sure who that is there, but either way, he's having a great game so far. Dismail's got the ball working against 43 for the Highlanders. Gets tied up with Curry, and now 35 has got the ball. Headed back up court against heavy opposition. Can't quite keep control of things. Under five minutes to go in the first half now as Kumar gets ready to inbound again to Dismail. New player in the game right now for the Spartans, number 13, Lawson Fass. As Kumar tries to work along the baseline, can't get in. Out to Bonner. Tries to go to Foss, 35, intercepts it. Goes mostly unopposed down the left side, drives into the basket, tries to shoot. And we have a foul. So number 35 will go to the line. Try to cut into this eight point lead. Four minutes now to go, clock running through the first half. First shot falls short. Fifteen coming in. Also thirty-one. Austin Toland got a name to go with that number. Thirty-five shot goes left, bounces off the backboard. We got a lane violation, and now thirty-four is coming in the game. So more subs on the court. Mail's got the ball for the Spartans. Sit over to Don Bonner. Nice steal by number 21, Willis. Fifteen working on the left side out to 21. He takes a shot from the uh, top of the lane. 26 Mason Ham in the game now for the Spartans. Kumar's got the inbound to Jasmail. Two and a half to go in the first half. Nice steal by 31. Gets it out to 15. It's working against Jasmail. Can't get around him now. Tries drives the baseline. Gets it out to 21. Now number 15. 31 on the right. He holds up, takes the shot. It's off. 15 with the rebound. He'll go for the three. Bounces off the rim. Just has got it now for the Spartans. It's up, and there's two more on the Spartan total. Score right now 14 3, a minute and a half left to play till halftime. 21 drives in, can't get anywhere, gets it out to 31, dishes it back to 21. Will he take the three? No, he'll take it from the top of the lane though. Rebound is off, and the Spartans come up with it. Honor. 
Fetches mail on his right, goes to his left, number 26, Ham. Kumar, 11's got it. Out to just mail once again. Out to Bonner, almost picked off by 15. Kumar looking for an opportunity to drive in. That gets it underneath the number 13. Big time air ball, no good. And the Highlanders will get another shot with 45 seconds to play in the half, trailing 14-4. Ethan Kim, number 34, tries to save the ball, but he's too late. We have 38 seconds to go as the Spartans bring it in. To just mail. Looking at him on the right. And all the way over to 13 on the left. 13 is Lawson Foss. Out to Kamar. Just mail. Drives in, takes the shot. No good. It's out the back. 14.31 seconds left to play. Just enough time for one more play for the Highlanders. Try and cut into that 10 point lead just a little bit before the half. Six, five. 15's looking for an opportunity to get inside. He can't find anybody. Just mail. There he goes. He takes the shot off the rim. And the score at halftime. St. Stephen's 14. St. Andrew's 4. We'll have a five-minute uh, halftime and be back with the second half of this, our final game of the evening here on Vipe Live.
And here we go, getting ready to start the second half of the final game of the evening. As the last batch of uh, fifth and sixth grade boys for the St. An Saint Saint Andrews uh, Highlanders try to uh, overcome this 10 point deficit against the St. Stephen Spartans. I'm Kevin McAdams once again for Vibe Live. Thank you for joining us for this uh, triple header tonight. Mazamad will inbound and get the second half underway. Ahmad to 43, Ethan Kim in the game as well, 34. He's open on the right, 43's got it now to 35. I'm thinking that's Moorhead. I wasn't sure if that was Carson or Moorhead, but I'm thinking that's Hudson Moorhead. Again, I have two players listed under 35 tonight, so <laughs> for the Islanders. Forty-three is listed as Miles Hill. Okay, there we go. Buckholtz inbounds to Levine for the Spartans, who takes a wild three-point attempt. No good. Thirty-five's got the ball now, bringing it up for the Highlanders. Nice three-pointer for him, and the lead is cut in half. And another steal, and two more points for the Highlanders. 14-9, doing a good job of cutting into that lead now. Just Mail tries to get the ball to the right to Buckholt. He's got it. He drives the baseline, gets hung up by 31. Out to Levine, back to Buckholtz. Out to Just Mail now. Almost knocked out of bounds, but he saves it. Out here to five. Number five is Hugo, Hugo Vera. Over to 16. Who gets tied up up underneath? Levine winds up with the ball and he puts it in. Looked like an easy layup, but trust me, he had to work hard to get there. 16-9 now your score. Miles Hill with the ball. Ethan Kim on his right, he drives past him. Now out to Kim. Back to Hill. He takes the shot off the rim. Thirty-one. Austin Tolan tries to save the ball for the Highlanders. Can't quite get it. Levine getting ready to inbound to Buckles. Really aggressive defense being played by the Highlanders now, meeting them right at the half court line. <clears throat> Hmm. Levine to just mail. Who's taking his time coming in over to 16. Goes out toward Buckholtz. Can't get a pass off to him. Now moves inside. Levine's got it underneath. 16 puts up the ball. Gets it. Score now 18-9. As the Highlanders come up the court looking to 43 drives in, puts it up off the rim. Kumar in the game now for the Spartans. Gets the rebound, gets it to Buckholtz. Who gets a screen from just male as he comes across midcourt over to Levine. Levine <laughs> tries to sling it across court to Kumar, who's just out of position to get that. There's Carson. For Moorhead, 35, into Hill, back out to 35, there's a mod. drives up to the paint, puts it up, no good. He did draw the foul though. So 
So Mazamad goes to the line to shoot at least one. 13 and a half left to play. First shot is no good. Now we've got a wholesale substitution coming in for the Highlanders. 53-44-22, Beckett Curry. 44, Daniel Antonini. Hamad's second shot is off the rim. Antonini and Kumar tie up for it in the paint. And possession arrow is in the red direction, so Kumar will bring it in to Dismail. Dismail taking his time. Passes it all the way down the court to 16. They've got 26 open underneath. Beckett tries, not Beckett, yes. Buckholz, I should say. Number zero trying to come down with it. Twenty-six Mason Ham, the player for the Spartans. Becky Curry leads his men back down the court now. Gets it over to 15. Back to Beckett. Beckett takes the three-point shot off the back rim. Dismail comes down with the rebound and drives straight down the court. Gets tied up with Beckett. Curry. I'm sorry, nah. 21, Cole Willis, excuse me. 22 is Becky Curry. Buckles has the ball now to 16. 16 to Ham. Ham tries to turn around and get it up. He can, he dishes it off to Kumar, who goes up, air ball. Ham's got it now. Puts it up again, no good. Nope, a correction, that was good. 20 to nine the score. As Curry brings the ball up, lets his offense get set. 15 has the ball on the right. Now in the middle to 44 to uh, Antonini. Antonini, Daniel Antonini. Curry goes for the three, off the rim. Buckholz gets it for the uh, for St. Stephens, gives it to 16. Puts it up, no good. Curry comes down with the rebound. Winds it back in the Spartans' hands. And ball will go over to the Highlanders once again. Coming up on 10 minutes left to go in this game. Beckett Curry to 15 on the right. He drives in, takes the shot off the rim. Just Mail's got the rebound. Buckholz open all the way down underneath. He passes it to him. Buckholz goes up. No good. Spartans come down with the rebound. Jasmail tries to put it up. Antonini comes down, but can't get, right, get out of the zone with it. Now back to Buckholz. Buckholz drives, puts it up. No good. Antonini saves it before it goes out. Kumar gets it, though. Puts it up. No good. And Becky Curry comes up with the ball. Nobody in his way. Antonini in the middle. Walk wide, just male, number 53, picks it up, no good. Antonini comes down with it. And Antonini's shot goes in. Daniel Antonini's first trip to the free throw line tonight. Good to go. Cuts into that lead again. Now just an eight-point lead for the Spartans. Kumar and Ham. Kumar. Half-court press happening now by the uh, Highlanders. 
Kumar manages to get it past Beckett and the other defender. Puts it up, no good. Bonner back in the game now, number two for the Spartans. He can't manage it. Ball back in the hands of Beckett Curry now. Over to 15. Fifty three up underneath, back out to Curry. Antonini looking for the shot, can't get it. Back to Beckett. Who goes for the three once again off the rim? Fifteen's got the rebound for the Highlanders. Out to Cole. No good. Sixteen comes up with the rebound for the Spartans. He drives all the way down. Tries to pass it across to Kumar, but it winds up in the hands of player number 15 for the Highlanders. Who works it back down this way against Kumar. Drives all the way up, takes the shot. Off the rim, 53 with the rebound. Tries to get it out to Curry, no good. Now it's out to Curry once again. Who goes for the three, and this time it falls. Seven twelve to play. Kumar to just mail. Over to Ham, into 16. He drives against Antonini. Can't get anything, gets it out to Bonner. Ham puts it up, no good. 16 comes down with it. Over to Kumar, he takes a shot. Spartan still got the rebound, now getting it out to uh, Jasmail. He drives in and takes a shot, no good. Islanders come up with it now, and it's back in the hands of Beckett Curry, who drives down. Next to Antonini, now spreads his guys out. Lear to 21. Cole Willis, back to Beckett, he throws for, and he sinks the three again. And almost single-handedly, Beckett Curry has brought the Highlanders to within two. The closest they've been since the uh, opening moments of the game. Once again, thank you for joining us on Vipe Live for this uh, triple header of middle school basketball coming your way from this amazing facility here, Nazareth Hall on the campus, the lower, what they call the lower campus, the elementary and middle school of St. Andrew's Episcopal School here in Central Austin. About halfway through the second period here. And the Highlanders were at one point trailing by as much as 10, but now have brought it within two. And the way they've been playing the last, oh, seven minutes or so, actually have a good shot to come from behind and uh, take this one. <clears throat> so the ball will come in from the near baseline here. Bonner looking to get it to Kumar. Now it's picked off by 43. who holds on to it at midcourt, waiting for his guys to get down here and set up. Ethan Kim back in the game, out to 43 now. He drives the lane, dances around, the, dances around Bonner and puts up for two. And the game is tied. Smale's got, the, got it now, going up the right side, gonna try and take it all the way himself, and does so successfully. Now we got ourselves a ball game, 22-20, 5.38 to go. thirty 35's got it, takes the shot, miss. Oh, <laughs> picked off by Ahmad. 35's got it into the basket again, it gets blocked by Jasmail. It's getting a little bit heated there. 
along the near baseline. I think you heard the, uh, what players were saying he thought he'd gotten a foul, but referee didn't agree. Five minutes and 11 seconds left to play in what has turned out to be a very close and very exciting game. A lot of fun to watch this one here tonight. Mazamad will inbound for the Highlanders, gets it over to 43. Who drives in, takes the shot off the rim, gets his own rebound, steps around the defender and puts it in. Game is tied at 22. Inbound pass stolen by 43. Who's playing very aggressively down here on this end. Tried to go up with the basket, but got called for traveling. See Buckholtz back in the game. Kumar going to Buckholtz. Monner taking a seat. Buckholtz driving fast down the left side. Buckholtz from Ham drives in, puts it up. A little bit of tit for tat going on here. Two for two, 24 22. 43 has got the ball. Ahmad moving up to his left. He's going to hold up. He's going to take the shot himself. Now he's going out to 35. Up to Ahmad. Drives in, puts it up. The game remains tied at 24. Just male looking for him underneath. Overshoots him, but Kumar, Kumar comes up with it. Now to Levine. Back in the game, three and a half to play. Tied at 24. I'm starting to wonder if this game, the winner of this game is gonna be the last team to touch the ball. It's kind of looking like one of those. Levine inbounds it to Buckle, it's under the basket who promptly travels with it. And the ball will go over to the Highlanders. It's Ahmad to 43. Becky Curry back on the court now. Always a danger from beyond the arc. And sure enough, it goes to him. It's a 43, he drives, he holds up, he puts up the shot. And the home team goes up by two. Over to 15 on the right side, left side of your screen, he drives in under the basket. Blocked by him, who gets it to Levine, who passes it all the way down to Buckholtz. Ethan Kim is waiting for him down there. Twenty-six, twenty-four. The Highlanders have their first lead of the night. Kumar tries to get it to Buckholtz under the basket. Number fifteen intercepts for the Highlanders. He brings it down. He's got Ahmad under the basket if he can get it to him. Now Ahmad's got it on the outside over to 43. Becky Curry moving over to the right, getting himself in a good three point position. 43, he's got 15 over on the right now. He takes the shot off the rim. Ethan Kim comes down with it. He's tied up with Jasmail. Possession arrow in favor of White. So the Highlanders will keep the ball as Ahmad gets ready to inbound. Curry over at his right. To Beckett Curry in the corner, out to 43. He drives in, he holds up, he takes the shot, dancing around to Smale, and there it is. 28-24 with a minute and a half to play. 
Nail working down the right side. He's going to drive in single-handed and try for the shot. Nope, it goes out to Buckholtz. He drives the middle, puts it up. He's blocked by Ahmad. One twenty to play. Levine goes to Hammond to the basket, turns around, shoots, no good. Levine comes down with the rebound once again. Tries to get it out to Jismail. Picked up by 43, he and Jismail fight for it. It winds up going out right in front of the scorer's table. With a minute 13 and a four point lead, Highlanders are in command as number 43 brings it in. Got a pushing call. Inbound will come over here on the right sideline. A minute six to play. Highlanders with the ball. Gets it to 15 in the corner. Goes for the three, no good. 57 seconds to play as Levine drives down for the Spartans. Goes to Buckholtz under the basket. Buckholtz puts it up, no good. Comes down with his own rebound. Tries to get it to Levine underneath. Ball goes over to the Highlanders. Samad to 43. A four point lead. The Highlanders can afford to take their time. Working it around. He loses the ball to Levine. Who gives it over to 13. We'll identify him in a moment. Back to, third, back to Levine. Takes the shot from the right side. Bounce, bounce, no good. Ham gets the rebound. Now out to Jasmail. Looking at Levine on the right. No good. There, he's got Buckholtz into the basket. 12.87 seconds left in this game. And unless something really bad happens, the Highlanders are looking forward to take a win. The first win out of the three games tonight. Out to Jasmail. He goes for the three. It's off the rim. Number 15's got it. Down to five seconds. Gets it to 43 in the middle. Three, two. He'll hold the ball, let the clock run out. The St. Andrews, fifth and sixth grade Highlanders defeat the sixth graders from St. Stephen's Episcopal School. The Spartans by a score of 28 to 24. Thank you for joining us for these three games tonight. As always, it's been my pleasure and a lot of fun to uh, run the camera and uh, do my best at play-by-play -play to bring you all the excitement here from Navarro Hall. Hope to be back again soon. In the meantime, my name's Kevin McAdams. For everybody here at Vipe Live and here at St. Andrew's Episcopal School, good night and thanks for joining us.